Okay, let me see. Um, I just posted. Um, I just found Zodiac Color in Isaiah. It was right there the whole time. In Isaiah. 6110. I don't have a higher dude. Did I post it on Facebook and I said? And uh, Isaiah 61.1, I mean Isaiah 61.10. Isaiah 61.1 actually goes with that. It basically, uh, Isaiah 61. Uh, if you guys know when Jesus read the Bible, uh, let's go to Isaiah 61, 1, and let's look at when Jesus read this. Let's go to Luke 4, 18, I think it is. Let's open Luke 4 so we can see red letters. Let me see if this is okay. The print looks weird. Now oh, they're messing with the fonts. Okay, anyways, no another temptation. Uh, right here. Okay, let's look at the the chapter. Look fourteen. Uh, so let's go look four. I mean, look three. Look three. You see John the Baptist, his cousin, who was. You see the cousin who was in Luke 1 filled with the Holy Spirit in the womb of Elishua bit uh, when Mar Mariam came in with the seed of the Holy Spirit uh, God, Jesus, Yehovah and virgin, wise virgin Mariam and Betula Chakmah Mariam and she came in and Haba bit Zakaria Elishua bit and Amad Shalom Yeshua Shalom Aleikah and Berakaliyah, Shalom Yeshua, she came in, greetings. And then boom, look, look, uh, one. And the baby of John, six, like six months older or something at least, older than Jesus, was leaping in the womb. With the Holy Spirit power, okay? And, um, so here's John the Baptist. Now, he's been on fire for the Lord since he was born. Just imagine... John the Baptist came out on fire for God. Like Jesus, like Jesus, Jesus was talking about Jesus was talking about God since he was little. He, and when they were looking for him, he said, "You should know I will be in my father's house." That's good. So we're in order. I'll go back to Luke 2. Jesus is born. Luke 1. And Mary comes in. Luke 1. Verse 40. She entered into the house of Kadia and the Shobet. Shalom, 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 Lekam. We are kind of It came to pass that the Shobet heard the greeting. The voice of Mary and the baby John in her womb leaping with the Holy Spirit as they were filled by the Holy Spirit. John the Baptist baptizing the Holy Spirit. 
since he was born. Okay, or before that. Uh, so, just imagine John the Baptist, a boy, growing up on fire for God. That's awesome. My daughter was also baptized in the Holy Spirit from the womb. And not in the womb, but from the womb. Uh, when she came out, my heart popped. When she came out the womb, my heart popped, pop, 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 pop. And I thought I was having a heart attack. And then I read this story later, and I realized it was the Holy Spirit coming out of me and sending her spirit. And um, so, yeah, my daughter has been Holy Spirit sealed and filled since birth. Praise God. It happens um, for a reason. Because the beast is here. And thank God she's taken care of. Um, so which one was it? Um, we're looking for Jesus. Verse 41, Luke 2, and his parents were going to Jerusalem every year at the feast of Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up according to the custom to the feast. And having completed the days of their returning, uh, the boy Jesus, young, young Jesus, uh, remained behind in Jerusalem. And his parents didn't know about it. And they thought he was within their camp and their camp. And they went a day's journey and began looking for him. And among their relatives and the whole group. And they didn't find him. So they went back to Jerusalem looking for him. It came to pass after three days. They found him in the temple after three days. Dang. They walked back three days to get Jesus. Dang. So they went back three days. They found Jesus in the temple, sitting among the teachers. He was sitting among the teachers, hearing them and asking questions. And they were talking. He was, they were reasoning together, talking about things. And everyone who heard Jesus were amazed by his understanding and answers. And having seen him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Boy, why did you do this to your mother and father? We were looking for you all over the place and we were so scared. He said, Why? And you were seeking, why would you be looking for me? And you should know that I would be in the house of my father doing my father's business <laughs> he said he said God is my father and she didn't really understand at the time when he said that and he went down with them he ended up going with them to Nazareth and he submitted himself to them as his mother and parents and she stored these things in her heart when he said and God's my father. But Jesus continued to advance in wisdom and stature, growing great, but I'll be sure. Uh, favor with God and favor with many men of his people. Okay. Look at three. So now, John, who's born with the Holy Spirit, he's on fire for God. He's rebuking and he's calling people to repentance, also meaning re returning home. Okay. And this is what you don't really hear you don't really hear this from the preachers or any type of preacher who says to repent 
They never say why. They never say, or they never say what it really means. It means to return. It means dump all your sins at God's feet. Bring all your sins to God. You can't just dump it. Okay, it's like this. Like the preachers, they don't preach. The preachers who say this, they don't preach right because they say, "Repent from your sins." So they're saying like they're saying, "Leave your sins in the world," but you gotta actually take your sins to God. You gotta actually take your sins to God. And okay, so let's talk about this. Um, let's go to Joy to those. Whose sin is forgiven. I'm looking for Psalms. Let's just type Google it. Blessed is he who sin. Forgive me. Psalm 32 1. Okay. Okay, let's look at this. And King David says, Blessed. When your sins are carried away, forgiven, and the transgressions against God's law is covered. Okay. And let's look at this word, sin. What do you see? Sin offering. All right there. Okay, so a sin offering. So say it backwards. Offer your sin. Offer your sins to Jesus and give him, give him your sins. You have to give him, you have to come by, and he said, Come by from me, pure gold refines. Okay. Now, this also goes to Zechariah 3. The filthy garments. Joshua, Yehoshua. Let's go to Revelation three eighteen. I counsel you to buy from me gold, having been refined by fire, so that you may become rich white garments, and you may be clothed in shame. Your shame of nakedness uh, might not be made manifest. Okay. So he's talking about garments of salvation. Okay, the priestly garments that I, uh, I have, the garments of salvation, which I I preach and prophesy, and I speak out into the world and bless. Um, this is part of it. This is part of being dressed for the wedding feast. Um, and he also says, and might not be made manifest the eye self to anoint your eyes so that you may see. And so... We're talking about anointing. Matthew 25. And the wise virgins. Full of oil. I know it's talking about eye salve, but... Let's take that word anointing. Let's take that word... Anointing. And take it to Matthew 25. Uh, wise virgins with oil and fire, are waiting for the for waiting for the groom to come. Okay, so he wants us to come buy the kingdom from him. Gold refines, so we got to be refined as gold. 
by the fires. He's going to give us garments of salvation, robes of righteousness, Isaiah 61.10. Okay. And which also includes the king and priest who's about to be married or who just got married myself. Okay. And for my wives and for the church. Uh, Revelation 12. And um, Luke 11. Luke 11, the, the sign of the the sign of Jonah, three days of darkness, the eclipse, and um, August 21st, October 14th of last year, August 21st of 2017, and April 8th of this year, Jewish New Year, and created an A and a D, Olive Tower over America, and for the king who plows salvation in the days in the days of the beast and um and conquers the beast and closed the church revelation 12 and he closes he clothes the church and his queens with the garments of salvation and robes of righteousness okay so we we have to buy from god this salvation this kingdom right the kingdom has to be birthed within us. We have to be born again in the spirit. We got to be born in the kingdom. The kingdom does not come first with observation, but and it's within. Okay, so we're going to take our sins to God and make a sin offering, right? <clears throat> okay. Um, and then we get, uh, the people get garments of salvation and robes of righteousness, So we got we gotta buy salvation. How do you buy it? Sin offering. Okay, so um, this is just a little revelation of what King David was prophesying: being covered in the blood, being covered to be covered in garments of salvation, and um, also meaning covering the cost, paying the cost of the price of sin. Jesus paid the cost, covering the cost, covering you with garments and robes of salvation and righteousness. And so this goes and always it branches out into a different means. Okay. And so, and also this right here is saying your sins will be carried away. So, if we take if we take our sins to Jesus, and we cast our sins at His feet, of His throne and His footstool, He's gonna take them away from us. Okay, so it's it's better to repent and bring your sins to Jesus, and cast them there. And your sins, your your soul, your heart, your mind, everything, not just sins, not not just sins, but your whole being. Your whole being, your whole being, your whole soul, your whole heart. Take your whole heart to God and give it to Him. Take your mind to God, Jesus. Take your heart to Jesus, God the Son, the Savior, and give it to Him. Take your mind to Jesus on the throne and to the footstool of His feet. Give Him your mind, your heart, your eyes, your ears. Give Him your hands. Give Him your feet. Give Him everything. Give Him your sins. Give Him your spouse. Give them your kids. Leave everything, everything, leave it, everything at the foot of his throne. Okay, at the footstool. And before him, give him everything. He wants it all. He needs it. Okay, that's how you buy the kingdom. Okay, so let's go.
that's how you buy the kingdom. I counsel you to buy from me gold, having been refined by fire, so that you may become rich. Okay, this is how this is how we buy. And taking everything to God. Okay, so guess what? That kind of makes sense in Luke 14. Because if we give him everything, if we give everything into his hands, the cost of discipleship, the cost of discipleship, he says in Luke 14, 25, and if anyone comes to me and does not hate, and he does not love me first, in other words, if he doesn't love me first and, and hate everything else or love everything last, love me first and love everything last, that's what he's saying, okay? Love everything last, love me first. He cannot be my disciple. It's going because it's going to be that. It's going to be that drastic. It's going to be very that much. It's going to be that drastic to do the kingdom business. And whoever does not carry his cross and come after me is not able to be my disciple, follower, learner. They're not going to be part. Of, people are not going to be learning much because they don't really follow him. And so he you know, he only teaches us when we really really seek after him. Okay, so um, so so we give everything to God. Okay? And um, so what is King David prophesying here? Make a sin off. Make us. So as you can see, there's a key, so there's like a key set right here. Kese Kise. So look at these letters. Kese Kise. See? See? Kese Kise. Strong's Hebrews number 3678. Kese Kise. 36 is the throne. Why does it say this in there? Look at this one. Okay. Um, so in Kise it says from the same as Kese. So what is Kese? The moon. So what are we also talking about? Revelation twelve, the the woman with the the moon under her feet, the church. The church is being called to the throne, and that's what I'm doing. Is bringing I'm bringing the church to the throne and their sins as a high priest, and what we're talking about. What does it mean to be a king and a priest? It's someone who God listens to. And someone who God listens to. And someone who takes it serious. And he takes the sins of the church and the sins of the world and the nations. And he casts them at the feet of Jesus. And he says, here Jesus, here's the sins of your people. And he takes the sins and he casts them out into outer darkness, non-existence. So whenever they go after your sins, guess what? And they're going into outer darkness. It's because, and there's no condemnation in Christ Jesus. There's no condemnation. There's therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And so, um, they can't go after the sins of the church. Of God's converts. Okay. Because uh, he took them. Okay, so a full moon kese, a kese, a full moon, and so that is Revelation 12. And a great sign was seen in the heavens, a woman being clothed by the sun, the shamash, serving candle, okay? She's being clothed with garments of salvation and robes of righteousness, and the moon queens and the church, and the moon is under her feet, okay? And on her head is a crown of 12 stars, and, and she has a crown, okay? And she's also representing queens for the 12 tribes of Israel and she has in her womb and uh, she cries out and travailing with pain birthing forth baby salvation and so in other words the church is being built in these days 
in these days the church is being built by the apostle who builds the church and how does the apostle build the church Paul the apostle how does he build the church he gives birth to salvations and well you without salvations you don't have a church okay so they brought forth salvations in Rome the book of Romans Corinthians um, Galatians Ephesians Philippians Thessalonians Colossians so they birth forth salvations in these places and they turn into congregations and churches okay so this is what this is what the church is doing it's not just it's, it's not stagnant in other words the church is not stagnant it's not it's not at a standstill there's salvations going on and not just salvations but there's a fine tuning there's a what was it we read earlier um there's a growing there's a maintaining it okay as the video we did earlier uh, it's on my YouTube um, and um, and so we're we're growing it we're maintaining it we're growing greater let's see what chapter was that So the church is birthing forth. There's no, we're not at a standstill. And Zechariah, um, Jeremiah 30 also confirms that men are giving birth to salvations. Jeremiah 30, verse 6. And now, and see whether a man is ever labor with a child. Have you, and in Hebrew, we've seen this, though. Ask, asking them now and they see that is being birth men giving birth why do I see these men um, these men travailing prevailing travailing why do I see these men travailing prevailing going through this with their hands on their guts as a woman giving birth and turning uh, people's faces pale like there's some people there's people who don't like it uh, people's faces turning yellow and people's faces are turning yellow and people's faces are turning green and yellow because they're they don't like it okay uh, and yet a con He's, why do I see people's faces turning green and yellow? And because they don't like it. All the salvation going on. And all the salvation going on. And men are grabbing their guts giving birth to salvation. Okay. Uh, so that's what's happening in Jeremiah 30 verse 6. Salvations is happening for the church. Even men are giving birth to Jesus' babies. Yeshua babies, okay? And the church woman is being clothed with the garments of salvation. Isaiah 61.10. And robes of righteousness. And the one bringing it uh, is Adam Duran from the fortress. And it's a spiritual thing. So uh, praise God for what he's doing and that he made a way of escape. God made a way of escape for this generation during this time. Okay, so um, this is part of being the priest. Okay, so the garments, the priestly garments. Okay, uh, let's go see that real quick. The, the Levite priest garments. Okay, and look, he has a crown, it has a golden crown, it has all the precious stones of the tribes of Israel. It looks nice. That's like a that's a priestly. Even close to a king's garment. Okay. Um, ours will be fat diamonds uh, across the chest, the size of your fist, for us who prevail over uh, this world. Um, so, 
Let's see, it says, Greatly I rejoice and make glad in Yehovah, Yeshua, my God, and my soul celebrates to my God because he has clothed me in wonderful garments of salvation and robes of righteous, robes of splendor and righteousness. And God has dressed me as a king and priest and a groom to be married and decked my brides, eves, and queens and shadows with jewels and made them adorable and gives me many Okay, um, and Adam dyed his garments in the blood of Jesus. Everyone's, everyone's garments were dyed in the blood of Jesus. And decked my bride, uh, brides, eves, and queens, and princesses, Hawa, and Hawa Malkas, with jewels, and made them my adorables, adorned. Adorned with heavenly precious stones. Gave me many garments and robes and crowns and thrones for many of my people to come into our wedding feast. Okay, so there's the priestly garments. There's a. Uh, uh, well, let me show you the uh, the words here. Uh, and so there's the chatan kahan. And there's a Hatan Kohen in a priestly garment. But he's getting married, so he's a king and priest. Okay. And um and also let's go back to real quick. Let's go back real quick to Luke. Uh, what we're gonna look at in Luke 4. Jesus Oh, before he started his ministry, he was baptized in the Spirit. Uh, Luke 4, 14, And Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God the Savior, returned in the power of the Holy Spirit to Galilee and reported concerning him, went out in all the surrounding region that he was teaching in their synagogues and being glorified by everyone. So Jesus began his ministry and he was being glorified at first. They were glorifying it. They were liking it. At first, they received it, but he ended up being killed. Okay. So, some people say, some people say that um, it's okay that to kill him because he came to die for sins. But no, it's it's both. He he knew he, he knew what was going to happen. He came down to pay for the sin debt. Okay. And he came down to pay for the sin debt, but as you know that Judas, and as you know that Judas went to hell, okay? Judas went to hell, 
Okay. Judas was never saved. He dipped his hands in the purse. He was never born again. He he was only there for the money. And he betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. You can Google it, see how much that was, like probably 300 400 dollars or something. And just a little bit of money, he betrays the Savior of God. And there was also a mob of religious hypocrites killing people. Okay. Uh, so, um, he was glorified at first, but he ended up, he ended up being killed by haters. Jesus Christ had haters. Okay. And many were, many were, um, Romans and some, some Romans were believers. A couple of centurion probably got saved. Um, and, um. And some of them were um, religious, his own his own so-called brothers. John chapter 7, his own brothers hated on him. Um, so, uh, we can talk about that real quick. Uh, John 7, because uh, the, fake, the fake Edomites, uh, the fake Israelites, who say only black people get saved, uh, Jesus says Jesus says that your enemies will be in your own house that he did not come to bring peace but a sword and that not everyone in your house will receive me so when you get saved that they're going to start hating on you okay so John 7 7 let's read this real quick uh, let's go to verse 2. Now the feast of the Jews, that was the feast of tabernacles, uh, mangers and boots in which he was born in a manger. And the feast of Sukkot was near, Chak Sukkot was near, therefore his brothers, some of his brothers said to him, uh, Depart from here and go into Judah, so that all your followers could see your wonderful works you're doing. Why would, and nobody hides out here in secret. When he wants to be seen in public. They're accusing Jesus of trying to be famous and loving it. Okay. And they renounced their own brother as God. If you do these things, show yourself to the world, Jesus. Okay. But it says first. It says, and after these things, in verse 1. Jesus Christ of Nazareth was walking in Galilee. He did not desire to walk into Judea, Judea yet. Judah. He didn't go to Judah yet. Because the Jews were seeking to kill him. Religious Jews. Religious Jews. Um, fake hypocrite Jews. They were trying to kill Jesus. So he was waiting for, for the time the Spirit said to go. And so his brothers were trying to get him killed by saying, hurry up and go. And they said, no, one's, no one hides in secret when they want to go be famous in public. And he says... And you do these things, show yourself to the world and go. And they were trying to get his their brother killed, Jesus. For not even his brothers were believing in him. Therefore Jesus said to his brothers, My time to die is not yet, but you're an unbeliever. John 3, 16, 17, 18. Those who do not believe are condemned already. He says, Your time's already. You're an unbeliever. The world is not able to hate you because you're a part of the world. But the world hates me because we're witnesses of God. Concerning it, that of its evil works. The, the works of the world are evil. And even in those days. So you go up to the feast. And I am not going up to this feast yet. My time has not yet been fulfilled. Okay. Let's type in sword and peace. And look at, look at how you can't be saved by color. Matthew 10.34 Red letters. Do not think that I've come to bring peace to the earth. My coming, my coming to earth will not bring earthly peace. I came not to bring peace because I came. It doesn't mean I'm going to bring peace to the world. But me coming actually brings the sword of division to set a division between men and man, father and and daughter against mother, woman and woman, 
and daughter in law against mother in law, family members, in laws, and the enemies of the Christian man and women will be in their own families. So if they're claim they're preaching that they're preaching that you're gonna be saved because you're a black Hebrew Israelite, that's a lie. You're not saved by color, you need to be uh, saved. There's no difference in salvation for a Jew or Gentile. For a Jew or non Jew outside of Israel, there's no difference. Everyone needs to be saved in Jesus' covenant, the blood of the covenant. Okay. And so it says here, you whatever race you are, whatever race you are, if you're black, Filipino, if you're Mexican, in El Salvadorian, or Brazilian, or Russian, or Israeli, or Arab. And if you're a believer, not not your whole family is going to believe, and they'll probably persecute you. Okay, um, so Jesus says, I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. Me coming here, and me coming to earth, uh, don't think that me coming to earth is going to bring peace. Shh. It's just going to bring a sword of division. And so, it's impossible to be saved by a color or skin. Okay, let's get back to the priestly business. Um, back to Luke. Let's see. Um, let's see, I'm going to leave Luke 4. Let's go to Luke... Um, again so Jesus is Judah seed of David something like 41 41 generations 41 generations from King David 40 to 45 probably and so he's Judah Jesus is Judah Jesus is from the royal line and from the Holy Spirit and from the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit could take, um, the Holy Spirit could, the Holy Spirit, um, God created Adam and Eve. From Adam and Eve came everybody, so, uh, the Spirit of Elohim, the Creator, He could create, uh, Judah seed, okay? He can put the, God is Judah, God is, He's the line of Judah, Jesus is Judah, Jesus is a Creator, okay? Okay, and so anyways, um, I had to pause it for a second because uh, the neighbors, the neighbors are, uh, the neighbors are stupid idiots, I'll be honest with you, my neighbors are stupid idiots, um, they, they worship the police department, fake Jesus, they're trying to deceive the whole world to go to hell, and they're, they they do not even like Kardashian Jenners, they don't even like they, 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 over here, they curse everyone and to keep everyone trapped. They're all little snitches with the government and to keep everyone not coming. And they're trying to keep everyone not to get saved. Where I live at, they're trying to stop everyone from getting saved and, um, uh, by telling lies. And they're, and then they're acting, they're trying to act all holy and righteous. They're, they're as wicked as anyone else, except they're the beast, they're the Antichrist. And they're always interrupting my videos, and they're always scanning the brain. They're always um, doing some kind of voodoo witchcraft, scanning the brain, and they're trying to steer my brain to think not to save people. Okay, well, I'm not doing that. Okay, and all these, all these, all these, whoever they are, they can go to hell if they want. But uh, all these, all these idiots over here, they can go to hell. But I'm, I'm saving the nations from the beast because I don't like the beast. I, I've been knowing the beast since I was seven years old. God taught me about the beast since I was seven. I hate Satan and Satanists are cowards. Satan and Satanists are sissies and cowards. And they go into the schools and they go and recruit the little children and trap them into the cultism. Okay, so I don't like them. I don't like Satan. And, uh, and these idiots, all these idiots want to be a traitors. And that's their business. I'm not stuck in the beast. I'm free. Uh, so let them be stuck. Whatever. 
Uh, so Luke 1, we're going to look for um, the parents of John the Baptist. So Jesus is Judah. John the, Bap uh, John the Baptist is from Zechariah Zach and Elisha. So let's read. Um, verse 8. Now it came to pass. Luke 1 verse 8. It came to pass. In fulfilling the priestly service before God in the order of the division, Levite priests, according to the custom of the priesthood of the, of the sons of Aaron, Levites, and it fell to him by the lot to burn the incense, having entered into the temple of the Lord, the house of God, and the whole multitude of the people were praying outside of the hour of the incense. And then the angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing at the right of the altar of the incense, having seen him, Zacadia, and the priest, he was troubled and was fear upon him. And the angel said to him, Do not fear, Zacadia, because your prayer has been heard. Your wife, Eliashua Bet, will bear you a son. You will call him Yohanan. And the Lord gives grace and mercies and favor. And he will be in these days. And the Lord will give grace, mercies, and favor in these days. He will be in the days of Yeshua Moshiach, born. He will be joy and gladness to you, and many will rejoice at his birth, for he will be great before the Lord. He's a great one, okay? He's chosen. He's created for a certain purpose. John the Baptist uh, was baptized in the Holy Spirit in the womb. Okay, we're at verse 14. And verse 41. Verse 40, 41. And he gets the Holy Spirit from Mary and from Maria, the mother of Jesus. And Jesus, and basically the seed of the Holy Spirit in the womb of Maria, says hi to Yeshua, Bet Shalom Yeshua, Ashalom Aleichem, Bet Akaliyom, and they get the Holy Spirit. John gets the Holy Spirit from Jesus and Maria. Oh, it's right here. In verse 41, and it came to pass as Eliashua bit heard the Mariam and the baby in her and the baby in her womb leaped, and Eliashua bit was filled with the Holy Spirit. And John the baby was filled with the Holy Spirit, leaping for joy in the spirits. They were baptized in the spirit already by Jesus, the seed in Mariam, okay? Okay. Let's go back to uh verse uh Okay, so it says right here. <laughs> I forgot about this part. Um, and so uh, I'm smelting every day. These witches are smelters every day. Uh, voodoo. Um, and he will be joy and gladness to you. Many will rejoice at his birth. For he will be great before the Lord. And he shall never drink wine and strong drink. He will be full of Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. He will turn many of the sons of Israel. He will return them. And he's going to return the children of Israel back to the Lord their God and Savior. He will go forth before him in the spirit and the power as Elijah anointing. And turn the hearts of fathers uh, to God over their children. And turn the disobedient wisdom of the right of the righteous. Turn the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous. And he will make a people prepared for the Lord. That's what we're doing. We're preparing people for the Lord. Zakaria. Uh, so this is this is the uh, Yohanan ben Zakaria and Kohen Hagado. Uh, he's a high priest. Okay. Um, so that's a Levite. So I'm a Levite. That's from Spain. That's a Spanish Levite. That's a Those are Levites, okay? Uh, I'm a Levite, and so it doesn't really matter, but it kind of does. It's for a reason. Um, so I'm a Levite, and I'm a Judah. Why did God do this to me? Because Judah's the king, Levite's the priest. Okay, so why am I Adam Yohanun, Yohanun Yitbo, Dudadam? Because Adam sets free mankind in the blood of you. Adam, uh, Adam Yohanan, Yitbo, Duradan, Ben, Adam, Yeshua, Mashiach, 
uh, Ben Yeshua HaMashiach, and he's a son of the anointed Lord and Savior, Adam Duran says three mankind, and he baptizes them with the Holy Spirit. Adam, Adam, Adam Yochanun Yitibo, Dudadon, Im Ruach HaKodesh, Elohim, and Ben Yeshua HaMashiach, and he baptizes people in the power of the Holy Spirit, okay? And so that's what John, that's what John was doing. He was baptizing, he's baptizing in Luke uh, 3. He starts baptizing in the Spirit. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. I'm baptizing in the Spirit. Uh, so, I'm, a, I'm, I'm the Levite. I'm the Levite Baptist. I'm Yohanun Yitbo, Yohanun, not Yohanan. Yohanun, greater grace for the latter day. Yohanun, Adam Yohanun Yitbo, Deronan ben Yeshua Moshiach, and Levi Kohen, and Bia Khalid Hayamin, and Melek Yehuda, Yechesikia, Melek Yehuda, and Melek Aki, Melek Saris, Melek Chesed, Melek Shalom, Melek Yehovah Sikinu. Okay, so there's quite a few king names so far that I know. Uh, Melech Akin. Uh, I established salvation. I established the kingdom for people. And Melech Saris, he doesn't have sex because the beast is here. But he has power to promote people into rulership. And Melech Hesed, the seed of David, he makes mercy for the latter days of the beast. And Melech Shalom, he restores them. We gotta go there next. And Melech Yehoshikenu, and Melech Yehesikia, Yehuda, he strengthens the people with the word of God. Okay, um, so the priesthood, okay, this is a priesthood. So I'm a king and a priest. That's actually a real thing. Uh, you know who else was a king and a priest? King David. King David was a king and a priest. Okay. Uh, when he went in to eat the holy bread with his friends when they were hungry. Okay, so, um, and next I want to go to, um, let's see. Okay, let's go back to Luke 1 real quick. I'm already here. Uh, let's go back to Luke 1 again before John where's it after John after John's birth oh, after Gabriel announces John's birth and Gabriel foretells Jesus' birth let's go down to Luke 1 and Gabriel, Gabriel Malak and he tells Mary I fear not keep because you have found favor and graces with God and behold you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and you will call his name Yeshua, salvation savior. Yeshua Moshiach is the same root word. He will be great. He will be called the son of the most high God, El Elyon. And Ben Elohim, El Elyon, and Adonai, Eloheinu, and establishes his throne. A greater throne for him by doing this he's already the king he's already the king but he's getting more exalted in doing this work coming here to conquer sin and death and shame and to pay the sin debt for mankind for once and for all time as it says in Hebrews okay and once and for all time as it says in Hebrews okay and so he will be great. He will be called the Son of the Most High God of Elohim, the Lord God and Savior. Uh, the Lord God will give him a throne from, he's from the, his forefather, is King David of 3,000 years ago, which is Judah. Okay. All right. And he will reign over the whole house of Jacob Israel forever and ever, generations and generations. Okay. And. So he's a he's from King David, right? He's a Judah. Okay, 
Yeshua. We're going to go to Luke 1, the same chapter, down to verse 36. From, we're going to verse 36 from uh, what we just read about John. Or about Jesus, I mean. What we just read about uh, Jesus... that he is called the son of the most high God the Lord God gives him a throne from Judah David, King David Judah okay. so John is from the priesthood John the Baptist son uh, Yohanun ben Zakaria Levim ben Aharon and Kohen Kohanim Levim Levites Jesus is Yahudim, mean Beit David, uh, in Abot, Abato, Abi, uh, Abi Kadam, David, and Wehu Malak, men came and left, called Beit Yaakov Israel, Olam Ad Adorador, and We called Makoto Lo Yeketz. His kingdom will never end. He rules over the hell house of Jacob, Israel. Jesus, our, our Jesus. They don't got no kingdom because they don't got Jesus. You see, we got the kingdom forever and ever. We got the real Jesus. We got the real Jesus. We got the real Jesus. They don't got no Jesus. They renounce this. They renounce this message. They don't got no Jesus. Okay, so let's go. So John is from John is from the priesthood of Zakaria. Uh, Zakaria and John are from the priesthood, the Levite priesthood, serving in the house of God, the temple of the Lord. It, verses one, um, Luke one, verses eight, nine, ten. Okay. Luke 1 verses 8, 9, 10 The Levite priesthood was a cry And John the Baptist Okay Luke 1 verses 31, 32, 33 Jesus of Judah from David Okay Now let's go to He says The angel gave Urael Luke 1, 35 he said to Maria, Neruah HaKadosh Yale Aleke Aleka And the Holy Spirit is going to come upon you in Yishkon Beka And He's going to dwell in you. The Holy Spirit is going to dwell in Maria. Okay? The power of the Most High will overshadow you and He will be within you because Jesus is in her. God is in her. Therefore the Holy the Holy God Son of God, his name is called Ben Ha Elohim. Behold, your some of part her cousin or aunt, an older cousin, his cousin or aunt, or some kind of relative. Her relative, Eliashua Bet, they were Levites. She has also conceived her son in her old age. This is six months. So John the Baptist was about at least six months ahead of Jesus. He, and she was called barren and old but nothing is impossible with God and Luke 37 Luke 137 and Luke 145 blessed is the ones having believed that there will be a fulfillment to these words spoken to them from the Lord okay so this is what we got we got words from the Lord I got word from God and it's going to be fulfilled and people who say something else People who say and do other things, they don't know what they're talking about. They're they're blasphemers. When God speaks, God speaks, and who is anyone to argue? Okay. Who, who's arguing with this? Who 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 has something to say about this that doesn't know and understand that God's word will come true? You know what I'm saying? That's that's and especially in these latter days, especially in these latter days when he's about to come, this is the wrong time to play games. 
this is the wrong time to go out and play games. Um, but nevertheless, there's this is the time where they're really, really trying to keep people trapped. Uh, so that's why I keep doing prayers and blessings for everybody. Okay, so um, again, Luke 1, verses 8, 9, 10. Uh, John the Baptist and his father Zechariah and the Ashurbet, their house of Aaron, sons of Aaron, Levites. Okay. But Luke 1 8 9 10 to Luke 1 uh, to Luke 1 uh, 31 32 33. Jesus is not of the sons of Aaron, Levites, priesthood. I mean, he is, he's everything, he's everything, but he's Judah first. God is everything. Okay, God is in God. The Bible says that God is God is in all. Let's see. Uh, let's go to Ephesians four six. In God and the Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. Okay, and so God is in every. God is able to do things in other words Jesus is Judah but he's God so I mean if life comes from God you know if life comes from God then I mean Levites came from God too you know what I'm saying okay uh, let's go back to so Luke 1 okay and then so Luke 1 8, 9, 10 John the Baptist, Father Zechariah, Levite priesthood, and Luke 1, 31, 32, 33, Jesus is a son of David and of the Holy Spirit. He's God, okay? So he's Judah, but yet, it's the Geburael says, Geburael says that Levites are your cousins, relatives, Okay, so let's so let's look at it like this. Um, there's two ways to look at this right now. Um, in the brothers of Joseph, the brother of the sons of Jacob, they were brothers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, let's be realistic. How so? If someone so if someone says, and somebody renounces the Bible and says. Well, Jesus is Judah, and John the Baptist was Levite. How could they be family? And that means they're going to start blaspheming, and they're going to start saying there's a mixture going on. Well, here, here's the thing. Their forefathers are brothers. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, Judah was a brother of Joseph. Levi was a brother of Joseph. So, they're going to be related anyways. Okay. So, um, Jesus is high priest. Jesus is Jesus is priest and king. Okay, I'm pre I'm king and priest too. King David was king and priest too. Want to go see? Want to go see? Let's go look at it. Let's go to First Samuel twenty one six. Let's go to First Samuel twenty one. David and the Holy Bread. Now David came to Nob the Ahimelech and the priest, and Ahimelech was afraid when he met David and said to him, Why are you alone? And no one is with you. So David said to Ahimelech the priest, The king has ordered me on some business and said to me, Do not let anyone do not let anyone uh, anything about the business on which I sent you or what I have commanded you and I have directed my young men to uh, men to such and such a place now therefore what have you on hand give me five loaves of bread in my hand whatever can be found the priest answered to pre pre king David okay that's how I always say uh, before he was king pre king David Uh, 
man, so it says And the priest answered to pre King David and said, There's no common regular there's no regular bread on hand, just the holy godly bread. And if the young men have at least kept themselves from women. And then David answered and said to the priest, Truly women I have been kept away from for at least three days since I came out, and the vessels of the young men are holy. These are holy vessels, and the bread is in effect common, even though it was consecrated in the vessel of this day. Okay. And so the priest gave pre King David holy bread, for there was no other bread there but the holy bread, and which had been taken from before the Lord's presence in order to put hot bread in its place on the day when it was taken away. And now a certain man of servants... Okay, stop. Okay, so King, pre-King David is Judah. He's out, he's ruddy, he, he's red, he has reddish, he has reddish something. He has reddish hair, reddish complexion, reddish hair. He's something, right? Okay. A ruddy, probably ruddy, Probably a ruddy complexion and reddish hair. Okay. Um, and so he's Judah. Pre King David. King David is Judah. But do you see what happens in 1 Samuel 21? What happens? What happens is this. He partakes of the priestly holy bread as a symbol of of Jesus being the holy bread the Lord he brought it from where look at verse he says he brought it from, he took it from before the Lord verse 6 21 6 uh, 21 6 why on David Cohen right there David Priest, he says, and for women he has been away from, and they have been away from us, and and for three days prior, and in this coming forth, uh, there shall be vessels of these young men, holy. Kelly Kadosh and Ne'arim Yanar Juniors and these young men juniors these Yanar and Kelly Kodesh their holy vessels in Darak Dilan AK holy vessels okay and so um, though they called us common though they said we were common people or not holy in Adam Duran and Kadash are Kadash, were holy vessels. Okay. And so we, through the daytime, it says, Holy, Holy, Kiki, Ye Kadash, Be Kali, and we're holy. Okay. Adam, Adam, Mani, Katan, Yishi, Hotem, Megiza, Yishi, Megdal, Yeshuot, Melech, Hesed, Melech, Mashiach, Yeshaya, Ar, Yerusha, Shem, Hadasha, Saru David, Kadama Star, Kokami Yaakov, Mahatz Patemo Ab, and the Star Boys. These are Star or Star Boys. Oh, oh dang! So look at this: three kings and three days holy. Wow, the three. There's the third right there. Three days, three days holy, three days holy, three Star Boys. Oh my gosh! I had to get this. Okay, I gotta stop this video because I gotta I gotta print. I mean I gotta type. Oh, I gotta stop this. Let me pause it.